All right, so let's get this video queued up. This was posted today at 20 UTC. They hyped it this morning. I was like, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? We'll loop it a few times. Fleet Cadia. Hmm. Got some loadouts. Hmm. Exploration. Hmm. Lightning in space. Hmm. Mining. Hmm. Support vessels, by the way. Rocks. Hmm. Mercenary support vessel. Ah. Journey together. Hmm. Core services. Hmm. That's an anaconda. Hmm. Command your own. Hmm. Blue engines. <laughs> Massive. Frame shift surge detected. Massively. December 2019. That's about that's about eight months from now. <laughs> okay. So obviously I'm excited. We've been waiting for we've been uh been dying for this feature. And I was sad when it got pushed back in the earlier patches. Um but back then, I think it was assumed that they were going to be squadron carriers. So maybe the delay was to make them personal carriers. Because now, uh, these are available per commander. They're not for squadrons. And we assumed, you know, prior to all this stuff, was uh, uh, that it's personal carriers. Yeah. So you can get one. Joshua can get one. Tommy can get one. And so can Becky. Okay, let's pull up the forum posts. Let's pull up the forum posts here. Which goes over all the juicy details. Right? There we go. Uh, I'll give you guys this link so you can have it for yourself. Okay, it's got the YouTube video linked in there, so you can have that too. Uh, <clears throat> so ownership, this is the first thing. Fleet carriers coming in their December update. Purchasable with a large amount of credits. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. One fleet carrier per commander. Available for base game and Horizons players. So if you don't have Horizons for some unknown reason... Um, yeah, plenty of players are speculating how many credits are a large amount. Um, I'm thinking multi-billions, minimum 10 billion, minimum. I'm thinking minimum 10 billion, because if you think about it, a decked out, a decked out, uh, um, I can't remember the names of the ship, the large empire ship. I've been going a long time. The large empire ship, the cur not courier, the uh, the uh, cutter. Thank you. The cutter is one point five bill decked out, so it's not going to be cheaper than a cutter. If you if you a rate a cutter, it's going to be over a billion, right? So it's not going to be cheaper than that. This is, we could just throw the one billion out of, out of the window. So I'm thinking minimum ten billion, and that's being very 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 conservative. Um, that's being very conservative. Given the amount of credits that have flooded the market and elite, it shouldn't be that big of an issue for people who've been playing the game. Uh, it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be that bad because you can farm a billion credits once you get your mining legs in and whatever else you're doing. You could do a billion credits easy. 
you know, a few hours a week is all it takes. It's not hard to make credits in this game anymore. It used to be. It used to be hard to make credits in this game. No longer, it's not, it's not hard anymore. You just got to play the game. And today we're going to be getting people, I think there's some people in the community that are going to fire the game up again. We're going to be helping people get started with that. So we're going to be doing some mining. Uh, we're going to be plotting some points around our home system over in Igbenui, uh that people can mine or elsewhere. I don't care where. And uh, <clears throat> talk about where they can sell the void opals and stuff. And uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a lot of that today. So that's gonna be kind of the thing as we're talking through this. And we're gonna be you know talking about the update all day. Um, this one was kind of surprising to me. I didn't think it would have this many, but there's 16 landing pads, eight large, four medium, and four small. That's a lot of landing pads. That's a lot of landing pads. That that one surprised me a little bit. Um, and you can set permissions. To allow people to dock or not. Which is also kind of cool. For people who want to be Lone Rangers. They can do that. I don't know how I don't know how granular these permissions are going to get. You know, that's that's a question. How granular are you going to be? Is it per commander? Is it to squadron, to public, to friends list? You know. What is... You know, what is going to be the granular permission level? All these questions and more will be answered by Frontier, hopefully, in their live streams. Um, where's Duster Buster? He, uh, he liked my tweet, so he knows. He knows. He's probably at work. All right. Operations. So this is where I think I have, a ton I have the most questions. Because you can essentially kit out your, f your personal carrier... For a play style. So, and they showed different ones in the video. Let me, um, let me bring this up again. Because this is important. They showed the different styles, if you will, of the different carriers, right? So, it looks like I saw about four models in this video. Maybe five. Or maybe I'm thinking about the uh, support ships. Like this, Exploration. Oh, these are support vehicles. Never mind. So... That's the carrier right there, and it says support vehicle. That looks kind of big for a support vehicle, doesn't it? And these, these support vehicles jump alongside your fleet carriers as they move, right? It's a pretty big thing. And that's, that's, that's the exploration one, right? Which I think is going to be a very cool thing. I'm going to talk about that in a bit. I think that's going to bring new people to exploration. And then you got the mining support vessel. So there's the fleet carrier down there. Then you got this guy, which looks kind of big. Um, I don't know if these are just eye candy or what. Like, I listened to Obsidian Ant's video. And I was like, man, he, he pumped out a video 20 minutes after this launch. So it's safe to assume that he knew about it. He has some insider info, which is fine. But I was like, man, get that quick. But he was talking about the support vehicles in this video, too. It's like, we don't know all the details about what these things do. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we're going to find that out. That's the mining support vessel. And then they show you mining. You're like, okay, yeah. We're mining in a mamba, by the way. You guys see that, right? This, this, this is a mamba mining. I was like, is that Zinkro? <laughs> and then you got the mercenary support vehicle. So, yeah, this looks more like a giant, a really, really big Battlestar Galactica fighter. Doesn't it? We need a, we need a small ship that looks like this, but it's huge. I mean, it's got you can see the deck up there and everything. That's the mercenary support vehicle. So if you're a bounty hunter, you got some good backdrops in, these, in this video. Journey together. What does that mean? Let's see. Fleet carrier core services. So you can dock at these. There's eight large, four medium, four small. And allows for refuel, repair, and rearm facilities. So that's really good. 
especially if you if you if you're talking about like uh exploration like it's really it's, it's gonna be a really cool thing to have a mobile base so you can go out way out in the dark but you can have a place to come back to or possibly even I don't know if it's gonna support this but possibly even respawn if you die for some un unknown reason get more limpets uh, I don't know get more AFM modules repair you you floated into a star so you need to repair so having a mobile base that has a 500 light year jump range because that's what this thing has is kind of cool um but it's got a lot of hard points man it's got eight it's got what 16 i'm not hard points uh 16 uh 16 landing pads command your own so i just want to show off those uh those these are the different types of things so you can do bounty hunter mercenary pirate trader smuggler miner explorer search and rescue i don't know these are different loadouts which probably are going to determine your support vehicles so as commanders can choose a number of loadouts for their fleet carrier governing services module and ship availability to support a number of different activities such as blah 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 blah, blah. so 500 light year jump range per jump schedule jumps from the galaxy map when you want and from wherever you are in the galaxy so if you're out in the black you can just plot your points and schedule the jumps for your carrier to come to you let's say you're at like one percent hull you may have floated into a star you may have bumped into a black hole you can say all right instead of calling the fuel rats <laughs> I'm going to call my fleet carrier. How many jumps is it going to take? No, oh, you're about 7,000 light years, so it's going to take about uh, 14 jumps. I don't know how the schedule is going to work. I don't know how long it's going to take or what. It has 16 landing pads. What if you have eight people you play with? They all bring two ships. That would fill in the 16 slots. No, it's, they don't have a shipyard. You're talking about a shipyard. Landing pads are where you can land... And basically be on the pad, right? Shipyards is where you store ships. So you can't bring two ships unless you have a shipyard. And they don't mention shipyard anywhere in this. So it doesn't look like it has a shipyard. So you're stuck with the ship you bring. If you're going to get on the ship. No shipyard. So yeah. Uh, commanders require a unique... This is This is kind of... This one worries me a little bit. This one worries me a little bit. Commanders require a unique resource to fuel the fleet carrier in order for it to jump. I don't know what mechanic they're going to put in place to mine this stuff or to, to gather this stuff. Um, let's just hope they get it right because this could be a source of lots of pain. Oh, you want to jump? Well, you got to grind for seven weeks. You know, we don't want that. <clears throat> they don't mention ship they don't mention shipyard but if it does have a shipyard then you're right you're right <clears throat> so yeah that's fleet carriers man um and then they talk about the september update uh which is going to have the new arcs currency uh you'll be able to earn arcs so that you can buy paint jobs ship kits and bobbleheads <clears throat> new commander stuff fully voiced in game tutorial blah 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 um yeah so yeah they got all these pictures here ownership uh oh by the way you don't need horizons for this that's kind of big uh that's kind of big it's good too because elite on sale you can get it for like seven or eight bucks the base game so those people who didn't even buy Horizons will be able to purchase a uh, a carrier. I don't know how they're going to get the money because practically everything that makes a lot of money requires Horizons. Practically. 
Unless you're just going to trade your way up. You don't need Horizons for that. But I'm pretty sure you need Horizons for the advanced mining stuff. Yeah. So what do you guys think, man? I, I know at least three people in my community reinstalled today. At least three. And again, I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to encourage you all to help others, too. To get these people rich. Show them how easy it is to get rich. It's not hard at all. It really isn't. Um, I'm going to need money because I have... I think I only have, like, 10 billion. So I'm going to need money, too. Cause I, I I only have ten billion, so I'm I'm gonna need money for this. Like I said, man, a cutter costs one point five billion. People throwing around uh, nobody. Uh, the guy who said it earlier, he knows now, but it's not gonna be one billion. Cause you the the, the small ships cost one billion. And I gave Zinkro, and we're going to talk about this. I gave Zinkro an Asp Explorer build that you can mine with. It only costs 20 million. You can start from that, and then you'll be rolling in billions in no time. You can play once a week between now and December and have enough, probably. Because <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of you know, but... Void Opals, which is the Void Opals and um, and Low Temp Diamonds. These are gold mines. You know how we used to have gold rushes and gold mines? These are systems in the game that don't go away. They're fairly persistent. I doubt anything has changed since the last time I played, which was like a month or two ago. A month ago? They're fairly persistent. So you can, you can find somebody buying Void Opals... For the one point something four million, whatever it is, per ton, which is insane. I think it was one point six million per ton. By the way, all of this is going to be coordinated through our Elite Dangerous channel in Discord. Don't go to the OMG section. That's that's a that's a graveyard. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be slowly removing all of that after we migrate a lot of the channels. Uh, <laughs> the OMG section of Discord was a failure so use the elite dangerous channel in discord to coordinate everything omg's not dead no omg's not dead i'm not talking about omg itself because we still have the squadron and i will accept if people want to join our squadron come 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 to me uh I'll gladly accept it. I'm just talking about the, the OMG Discord area, which uh, I just want to be clear. I know you know s'mores, but somebody might like, man. I remember when OMG was popping and now it's dead. 